Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Genshin Impact and today we got the reset of the Imaginarium Theater and I'm going to clear it uh, in this video and just go over that basically. There is not much to it. Again, I won't be really bringing a lot of Genshin content in the, in the channel. I will still mainly focus on Tower of God but this is a game I'm playing uh, in the background and when there are new cool units that I'm going to pull for I will record a pull video and maybe when we're going to get the Spiral Abyss reset I might also make a video about that something like this if you like Genshin and you would like me to do more content on it let me know but for now it is just going to be just situational and I'm not going to focus on this too much so for those of you that are not familiar with the Imaginarium Theater, this is a mode that was implemented recently, I think in the past four, five, six months, something like that. No, probably less, like four months, I would say. And is one of the two endgame modes that we have in uh, Genshin Impact. We have the Spiral Abyss and we have the Imaginarium Theater. And they work differently. The way the Imaginarium Theater works is that you are restricted to certain elements, uh, three elements out of the seven, and then you kind of have to use units that are, that are above a certain level, and then there are some random things that we're going to look at uh, while, the, while we play it. And this is a mode that requires you to have heavily invested horizontally on your units, so it's not like the Spiral Abyss, when you have to use two teams of four units each, so you can get away with just eight units for the imaginary theater they don't need to be as well geared as your spiral abyss teams but you definitely need a lot more of them for the highest difficulty that is the one that we're going to go for right now you need to have at the at, at the very least 22 units a level 70 or above that are of the three element uh, that are shown here for the previous difficulty like the first one would just be eight units which is like the same as the minimum for the abyss 12 for normal mode 16 for hard mode we're going to start with visionary because my account is pretty old and i have a lot of units so we can definitely pull this off that will give you uh six opening characters and if you don't have them they will give you a trial version in this case i actually don't have a lot of them as you can see i only have one out of six uh, two, I don't even have unlocked, Kli and Yaimiko. The other three are just super underleveled. So I'm going to use the uh, trial characters for the most part, and I will just bring my Tainari here, which is definitely better than the one that they're giving to me. So, yeah. Then we have special guests that are units that do not have to respect the elements restriction. And here we see a Geo, a Cryo, and a, a Hydro that I can use. And then we have Chiori, which is a second Geo that I don't have. Uh, that was in the banner together with Zelonen. So, yeah. That's kind of the idea. And here are all the other units that respect the conditions. I will say that every unit from Deia and above have their own artifact set the ones below like from Sara to well probably even Kachin has a okay set the other ones just have pieces but they're not leveled they're just random stuff so yeah with these three elements we can do some electrodendro teams using Shincho we can also do some hyper balloon teams uh, with them we can go overload with electro and pyro and we can do burning with Emily and uh, Kinich. So definitely a lot of options. I will take all three of, of the special guests that I have. Then we'll take for sure Raiden, for sure Kinich, for sure Emily, Baiju, Naida, Alhaitan, Arlequino. I will skip on Yoi, Mia and Diluc because I already have quite a lot of DPS units and these two are just trash, kind of. So yeah. Cookie for Hyper Bloom or just in general for Aggravate or whatever, pretty good. 
uh, fish all the same Beidou, why not uh, Yao Yao, pretty solid as an healer for Dendro and as a nice Dendro applicator for sure Chevreuse I don't know about her Gaming I skipped and also Kave, I don't really care about them Bennett for sure, Shaolin for sure, Deya for sure Sarah, 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 how many do I have already? 18... Okay, so two more for the final buff. For sure, Kaching. At this point, I don't know if I should go for Toma. I already have Shaling and Deya. I don't think Toma is going to be that important. I could go with Sarah. Or I could go... Ah... Uh, I mean, I could take an additional DPS, or I could even get her. Actually, what does what is she running? Can I have a look at her? Let me just see. Where are you? Here. Okay, the Doco Tales, whatever. The set. Uh, okay, also this one is not really that geared. The attack is low, crit rate, crit damage are low. Nah, probably not the best pick. I mean, this guy would be way better. But I don't like to play him outside of plunge. She could also be fine. I should probably pick you and me, actually. Okay, let me deselect her and go with you and me. And then we can go to challenge with this. Yes, I can confirm this selection. And let's just have a look, I would say. Okay, this is the blessing we're going to start with because I also selected four extra units. So pretty solid. We're going to get some flowers to, to begin with. We're starting with 280. We have three refreshes to change this kind of uh, bonuses or matches or whatever. And then we have to pick a battle to move to the next stage. I don't care particularly about buffing the burning reaction. I would rather get some more units early on. Pyro or random. I would probably go with random. They will give you out of the 20 units that you have in the alternate cast. They will pick two of them and you can select one of the two. And here we have either Nahida or uh, Shincho. And looking at the team I have here with the Aimiko, Dory, Kirara, and even the other guy, I would probably go for Nahida. Just because, uh, no, I don't I don't even think I would use Nahida because I will try not to use my good units in the early stages. I will try to keep them later, for later on. So yeah, I will pick Nahida just in case because she will work pretty well in any kind of team. But... Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. Free mystery cash. Okay, so here we're going to get two random effects and we can select one of the two. After selecting this, ble uh, Brilliant Blessing event costs 10 flowers less and the Companion events 10 more. Not gonna pick that. Selectable effects increase by one when selecting this kind of thing. So that's good for the future. And here we can pick one of two battles at this point. I don't want to refresh. We're going to keep the flowers for later. And this battle, we're going to face the Healy chart here and some other ones. Not too problematic, I would say. The other one would just be probably, yeah, these guys. They're also quite fine. I'm, I might actually go with this one. Defeat all opponents within 85 seconds. Okay, yeah, super easy. Yes, it's fine. Go ahead. And let's have a look. Let's go, let's go. So, who should we pick? I think I might go with some of the trial units here. I will run some sort of aggravate team, I'd say. To be honest, I could go with Klee because I believe she's going to be quite weak. But then I don't have a good reaction for her right now. Probably have to wait for Chevreuse to use her. 
kind of thing. Let's go for Yaimiko, Dori, Kirara. And then for the last one, I might go with Tainari. Yeah. Yeah, I think it makes more sense. I didn't even order them, damn it. Okay, here we have the cutscene of the Imaginarium Theater. Everything goes away and there is just the arena. And then let's get started and beat the shit out of some units here. Wow, okay. To be honest, I never actually played Kirara. I don't know why I didn't apply uh, Electro there. And also Dory, I never played... What the hell is this? So weird. Okay. Okay, way better now that we have some Electro applied to the enemies. Where is the last one? Okay. Okay, we have Quicken on. It should just be a kill. Yes. Okay. Terribly played. I don't really have any familiarity with this unit other than Tainari. As you saw, I didn't even have the other three leveled. And I don't have Yaimiko at all, so okay. We have Kinich or uh, Yoimiya. I think Yoimiya is weaker in general, so I could use her, though there is no synergy there. I, I would also like to use her in an overload team, sort of likely, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Didn't they fix it? Why? <sighs> because, like, this is what happened every time. In theory, it should have been fixed, but whatever. Basically, after you complete a stage, you go back to the, like, room where we were two seconds ago. Uh, instead of going back to the screen. They should have fixed it in this one. I don't know why. It happen like this but it's it's fine it's okay now here let's pick another random unit and Kinich could be okay then let's go for another random one okay Raiden Shogun or Kuki do we have healers I mean Dory is an healer but I'm thinking of removing her soon Probably Kiku. Let's go with the free mystery cash. Now we can select up one of three. We could go to uh, an additional one again. Restore one vigor. Nah. Gain two chances to roll all selectable events. That could be interesting. So we go up to five. And we have 130. I could select a Dendro unit, but I think we can just move on and see later on. Dendro character have an advantage here. Sounds good. So I can use Tainari. And probably I'm going to use the same team, but I'm not sure. So Tainari for sure as the first unit. Then I don't really care about Dory. We can just use her just to remove her. We could use Yaimiko again, and the last one, I might as well use Kirara. I don't really use these units in general, so whatever. Opponents defeated. Okay, mm, I should have applied Dendro before casting this, but it's fine. I'm really wondering what this unit even does. To be honest, I, I have no idea, so let's just use Tanari and get this over with. Okay. Ah, oh, right. She just removed my energy. That's normal. It always happens with these kind of enemies. Super annoying, but after after we barrack the shield, we're going to get the energy back. Like, the uptime on this unit is way lower than I thought. Just kill him. Okay, no. Too weak, the trial version. Okay, all of them are used. I don't care. Let's move on. Okay, we could pick an Emily and go with the burning team because she can carry the burning team even though the main DPS might be 
kind of weak and for Shaolin we can use her later on and again outside of the performance for some reason and we can go with the pyro unit why not I think yeah we're going to get I mean our Lekino is going to be useful later on she can just solo whatever but let's pick it then we have new electro companion we can use Kachin, uh, she's weak in my account. I'm trying not to go for these buffs, not because they are bad, but because that would be a bit too overkill. Because my account is pretty solid, I don't see the reason why I should uh, like go for those. And here we have 75 seconds to kill that chicken. He is dendro resistant, but we don't really care about that, I would say. We could either go with a sort of burning team, but again, might not be the best choice. So we'll try to play. The thing is, if I use Nahida here, it's kind of wasted, but I have so many good units that I don't really care actually. So let's go. I don't know which one to pick for the last slot because I have all of these pyro units I don't give a shit about. At this point I might as well go burning with Emily, Lee, Xin Yan that I don't care about. I think it would be fine. Emily should deal enough damage to carry this team. So for the last slot... I could go with the eye. Yeah, sorry, not the eye, Miko, uh, Yoimiya, but she's basically useless here. So, well, just in general. I don't care which act are we in, uh, act three. We have 10 to go. I don't really want to waste too many. Well, we'll see. No, okay, I just misclicked. Fine. Then let's go. Oh my god, she deals no damage. I don't like Klee because you shouldn't change uh, Carter while the special move or the burst is active. I don't know why I'm saying special move, that's Tower of God kind of thing. Here we go, and now let's just use the burst and this should be enough. And we clear it in time. They really deal, okay, whatever. Really deal no damage. And well, relying on Emily was a bit of a dumb move normally because that chicken is resistant to, uh, to Dendro, as I said, but still, she managed to carry just fine. Now here we could pick a Deya so that we use a Kinich or we could pick a Baiju and do absolutely nothing. Uh, well I mean I guess we could do a sort of aggravate team but no let's just pick a Deya. And again back to the to the room. Mystery Cash now is going to cost defense sequence I don't like that uh, but okay we could go for the mystery cache and see what we can get 67% chance of obtaining 90 flowers one additional selectable event option companion events will cost 10 fewer flowers actually I'm I don't know if I want to go with the first one or this last one. I don't care if they are less expensive, I think, so probably one additional selectable event with a free mystery cache again, so let's go for it. Uh, but after completing this act, no more alternate. Like, wh why would they even give this kind of a... Like, nobody would pick this one, I think. Give one random member, but then you cannot get any newer one. Makes no sense. One of the selectable events will be replaced with another of these ones that cost 15 flowers. Companion events cost 
10 more let's just do this damn it and then go for another one i'm really gambling here randomly restore one vigor to one or two characters that's pretty cool select all characters one times when choosing that could be interesting as well and the flowers i don't care let's go for one vigor okay tainari i accept it i accept it not bad here for the for the defense sequence i think this is a pretty good one pretty solid 35 percent should be easy and at this point i might as well use uh well if i want to use tenari really want to use electro but i don't have a lot of electro units so even if Bo have advantages i might just want to run a yoimiya team pretty much the same it should be totally fine let's just do something like this i don't care maybe clee first just because she applies uh, a bit of pyro and then she applies dendro and we can go ahead with it we just need to kill him fast quickly enough so that he doesn't do anything where is the other one oh well, actually okay yeah i'm so bad at aiming but they're dumb so they just come to you No, misclick, damn it. Where is the other one? Okay, perfect. Okay. They just need to be distracted. Okay, no. Every now and then, one of them just ignores you and does whatever they want. But it's fine. We have to survive one more minute. Why is he not okay? I was like, why is he not deactivating? I guess we can just wait a bit. We're in no rush. This is just a defense match. So it's fine. Let's just keep it up and wait. All right, and all of them are gone. It's a shame for Emily, but it's okay. I could have just used somebody else. Okay, we can definitely pick a Chevreuse, even though Sh Shilona is, is a lot stronger. But I don't think there are a lot of good teams for her in this case, and I don't really need her right now. And again, back to the to the screen here. I don't really want to improve any reaction. I could reroll them. Might be a good option, actually. Yeah, let's try to reroll and see if we can get something good. Okay, we just lost two options uh, to pick for, from for the fight. So companion costs 10 less and the other ones 10 more. Okay, when future events are drawn, one of the selectable events is guaranteed to be a companion random. Perfect. I like it. And we're going to get another mystery cache in the meantime, because the companion is guaranteed now. Reset selectable effect one time. I don't care that much. This one I don't like. I will get the companion event is 10 cheaper. Perfect. And we got the random one. Let's pick it. And... I'll hate them. I'll hate them. Let's go with Beidou. I feel like I'm lacking a bit in in the Electro compartment or whatever. Layla or Baiju? Baiju would be more helpful in general. Layla... I don't know. What am I even using Cryo for? Nothing. So... Yeah, well, Baiju. Okay, I don't want to keep spending. Let's just move on. I don't know if I want to keep fighting these useless guys. Because they are kind of weak. These ones, we just have some mimics. like Or whatever, the hydro things. I don't care. Spectres are super annoying. Uh, 
let's just go with them. They're neutral, they're pretty simple to deal with. And let's see which DPS I should be using now. I feel like I want to go with something like this. I, I, I feel like we can use Nahida now. I don't have any reason to keep her. I could add Tainari in. I got it back, but it, I don't like. I could use ba Baiju would be a better fit, but I don't need survivability that much. We just need to kill five of those dummies, so it should be fine. Like this, even even if we're not going to use Tainari, we'll try to use Kitchen a bit more. A steel. Oh, there are two. Damn it. I didn't think they were going to put two there, so I have to remark them. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's apply a bit. Oh, okay, it's already expired, damn it. And obviously, I'm, I clicked only one instead of holding and marking also the second one, because I'm stupid. And that's done. Okay, perfect. We can also just end it here without continuing. That's done. Here... We have Chivaroos, so we could pick Shanling and try to go for a yeah Electro Pyro team, or I could I could take Shincho and just go Hyper Bloom. That's also an option. Let's go for that because now there is the boss battle and Hyper Bloom is really good single target. So let's do that. Let's get another Dendro. And we can get Alhatham would be a pretty good Yeah, let's go Alhatham. And you will see me struggling with him because I really suck with him. I I cannot think. Let's go Bennett. Okay, and then we can move on. Ranged has an advantage. Hmm. And you know what? We're not gonna play ranged. We're gonna play Alhatham Hyper Bloom kinda thing. That's more or less the plan, I would say. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay. I just did random shit, to be honest. I don't know how they them combos. Unfortunately, we used the second stack of Naida, but that's okay. Yao Yao, we already have Baiju. Raiden, now that we have Chevreuse, could be pretty interesting, so let's pick Raiden. My Raiden is C0 built as an hyper carry, and hyper carry, and she's not that good. But okay, whatever. Uh, still worth picking, I'd say. Here we can go with Yao Yao or Layla. Doesn't matter, let's go uh, Yao Yao. And then we could go either with these kind of dragons, whatever, or we could go. Yeah, I think this one. Night Soul Superiority, yeah, I don't care. I mean, at this point, I could as well use Kinich. I can use Kinich and clear this. So let's go Kinich. Deya. At this point, Yao Yao. Maybe Bennett. Maybe Bennett. I mean, I could keep Bennett for later, but... 
the, the units I have will already make clearing it super easy. So Act 7. Uh, I mean, if I don't pick Bennett, who should I select? Nah. Makes no sense. I can just go with Bennett. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. So let's just use her. And then actually, I could have used Bennett's special move, but I don't care. My Kinich is also C0 and is kind of trash. But okay. Where is the last one? Okay. Whatever. I just wanted to put down the E skill, but unfortunately I'm stupid and I just went for the wrong one. And here we can just go ahead and kill this guy. Okay, fair. And yeah, let's move on. We can pick. Okay, both of them are great. If I want to do a spread or aggravate, I might want to go with Fischl first. Also, if I want to do the Chevreuse team, Fischl is more important because I have a lot of Pyro units already. Let's skip Fischl. And then Kinich I'm probably going to use in the next boss fight or something. Like this one hmm, should be okay. We can get another random unit and probably external audio support received. Okay, cool. And Zilonen at this point, or Shilonen. I think Shilonen sounds better, but okay. And now we have the last two. I'm sorry, Leila, you are the last one. And here we're just getting to one random, but gain. Okay, 30 fewer, but I can restore one vigor. I don't really care. Yeah, it's fine. Let's take the reset. And now we can just move on with the fight. Ranged as an advantage, rapid movement as an advantage. Kinich sounds about right. Though his range is not the best, but I can still keep the same team. I'm not sure I want to use Bennett, like the, the last charge of Bennett. But I mean, looking at the team, I can really do whatever I want, to be honest. Let's just use one Shaoling. I don't think I will be using many of them. And Yao Yao definitely won't be needed to have Baiju. So it's fine. Yay. Okay, not the best positioning for this. And I should just run. Ah, damn it. Hmm. Okay, this might be the first fail, to be honest. Yes, for sure. I don't deal enough damage here. That guy is just birdie burning. Damn it. Where is he? Okay, I'm really stupid. All right, go ahead with another hit and nothing. If I can do one more rotation and actually hit it, might be doable. Uh. No, fail. Damn it. Oh, what is that? Restart performance. Damn it. Okay. Then let's go with somebody else. I feel like I could use a, Sh a Chevreuse team. But no, it's better if I stay ranged, but I don't have any ranged DPS actually. Or I could just brute force it. 
Or I could use, ah, uh, but I don't have Naida anymore for Alhaitan. Or we can do something like this. And then instead of Naida, unfortunately, we use Yao Yao, something like this. Ah, uh, kind of disappointing, but maybe it can work out. Damn it. No energy on my fucking Shincho. Okay. Fine. Okay. I triggered Hyper Bloom totally random. Because why not? Where are you going? Damn it. These are bosses I never fight. These are really bosses I never fight. Okay. Now if he stays still, he should be a kill. Hopefully. Damn it. All the reactions had to expire in that moment. It's incredible. Please, man. Uh, no, I have nothing. Incredible. Failed for one second. Well, it's not a fail, but it is a fail, so... I'm kind of getting sick of this. I might as well just use one Ardekino charge and get it done with. Let's just do... Let's just do... I can use her and her, yes. Enough, enough of this. Okay, well, my, my aim sucks. That's fine. I don't need any aim with Arlequino. Though I'm not getting any buffs from missing that, but still, we can do it. Where are you? Damn it. Come on, please, let me eat you. Let me eat you once. Okay. Well, a bit more than once, but it's okay. Okay, the next. Fine. And let's see. Pyro characters have an advantage. We can go against them, it's fine. Do I have any other Pyro other than Arlequino? I mean, I have a lot of good units in general, so let's just do like this. Yeah, it's fine. It works. Okay, it's fine. And that's already over. Perfect. Yes, yes, it's fine. And now for the last fight, it will be pretty quick if I use Arlequino, but let's try not to. Yes, yes, all of them have joined. Continue performance. And let's have a look here. Well, actually, we don't really need to improve anything. We could get overloaded, but no, I don't care. Who's your line? Pyro characters. Okay. Now, should I try to clear it with my super weak Kachin? No, we don't have Naid anymore. I think it's too difficult. Should I just face roll it? 
I might as well just do something stupid like, oh, well, I don't have another pyro. Do I care about it? Nah. I guess we could really do whatever we want here. Let's use Layla in the last slot. It's fine. Hmm. I shouldn't have used this. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, okay, it was applied on the other one. Damn it. Okay, now let's claim it again and it should be a lot easier. Good. I don't really deal enough damage, actually. Weird. And obviously... Go away. Okay, fine. All right, and that was pretty much all, I would say. This is the performance summary. Pretty cool. Let's see if there are any interesting information. Okay, 738k with Arlecchino. It was probably the special move, the, the burst. Now let's see if there is something else worthwhile here. Most opponents defeated Kinich. Interesting. Okay. Most damage taken. Poorly. Poorly. Okay, fine. Then who else? Total characters 24, which is all of them. Okay. Team completed the performance the fastest. The Hyper Bloom Halhaithen with Nahida. Pretty good. And then. Uh, Let's see, supporting cast, nobody, so nobody from the friend list. It's okay. Flower used, cast list. We don't really care, I mean, with all the all the clears done, fine. That's about it. Let's skip it. All right, all the stars. And we just need to claim the rewards and we're done, I would say. I hate it that it's a monthly mode, so we can only do this like once every every month or so. Okay, it was not from here. I never recall where I should look for them. Okay, the two keys. Right, I need to take Kachin to level uh, 90 just to get the echo from here. But okay, that's pretty bad. I don't have a lot of level 90 units out of the ones that are available here, so I cannot really get anything. But okay, fine. That, guys, was pretty much all. Let me know in the comments if you think this kind of format uh, makes sense, if you liked it. I don't know, might be just pretty boring, and the video ended up being quite long. So again, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.